Yeah, joined by Richie McKay, Big South Coach of the Year. Had an chance to congratulate you on that. So congrats on, on the award. Thank you. 13 and 19, 10 and 8 in the Big South. That was good enough for fifth. Now you guys were picked, as we know, to finish last in the conference. You exceeded all of those outside expectations. I want to know, now that you've had a chance to catch your breath, the season is over, do you feel like this team exceeded even your expectations going in? I think when you're in it, you don't really think about what the number is in terms of yeah. how many wins you want. And, uh, but what I loved about our group, having lost the first 13 Division I games and 12 in a row, I just thought we showed a resiliency in, in our pursuit. And I love that about this team. Uh, at the end, there wasn't anything that I was going to be surprised that they accomplished because really good character, really strong work ethic. And, any award that certainly I'm getting the attention for, yeah. that's a direct credit to our assistant coaches and those guys that we had in that locker room because they, they were a terrific bunch and their hard work, I think, really laid a solid foundation for our program going forward. Now, it was your first season back at Liberty. Uh, you hadn't been a head coach for the last six years, and I had plenty of experience being in that seat. Yeah. But coming back and trying to rebuild this program, were there any surprises that you didn't see coming or, or challenges that maybe – Surprised you a little bit. I know coaches try to plan out everything, yeah. but was there anything in this rebuild in this first season that kind of jumped out at you a little? Well, having been gone for six years, the league's better. Yeah. Better talent, better coaches, and uh, I, I just I think the Big South has elevated its level of play, and I think it's harder to win the league. Uh, but what was most refreshing is just the spirit of excellence that is around our campus in in nearly every facet, Matt. It's so I, I'm, I'm so privileged to be back and yeah. excited to be a part of our growth and the mission of the university. I just think it's such an exciting time for Liberty, not only university, but Liberty Athletics that uh, I, I think my challenge is to make sure I don't get ahead of myself because I'm in, impatient to try and get our <laughs> program playing in the big dance. Yeah. Youngest team in the nation. First, how sick are you of hearing that phrase? Like, are you, are you glad that's over with? <laughs> yes. We've been saying it all year long. Yeah, but here's, here's the oddity in that. Yeah. We have six new guys next yeah, year. Yeah, you may, you may still have so that. You may have to live gonna, with it another year. We're going to be one of the youngest again next year, but I think that's good. Again, going yeah. forward, we, we have a really young team and a team next year that won't have a senior on it. Yeah. So if we don't like one another now, we're in <laughs> trouble because uh, we'll have to do life together for the next 24 months. Because of that youth, I would imagine that most of this past year was spent, or at least a large portion, implementing, implementing your system, trying to get that down. Now that most of the guys will have experience a year of that, can you go deeper? Can you do more? Are there things you'll be able to do this next year that you weren't able to in the first season? Yeah, good question. I think what we saw at Virginia is the longer you layered the pack line defense, the better guys got at it. So Joe Harris, I'll reference him. He, was, he couldn't guard anybody his freshman year. <laughs> and at the end, by the time he was a senior, we were putting him on the, the best player of the other team. So I think, yeah, we've kind of established a, a way uh, we're going to play, an identity, if you will. But I also think the culture is laid. And there's an expectation that our guys have of themselves and of one another that, I, again, I think is, is really beneficial for our program's advancement. You mentioned no seniors next year. Who do you see out of this group that you see being that leader on the floor the next year or possibly the next couple of years? Yeah, a few candidates. Uh, John Dawson, obviously, would I think has a chance to be a great leader. And we've got some young freshmen that I think are really going to their maturity is fabulous, and, uh, and I don't want to put that, that uh, expectation on them yet. I think leadership is earned, and, uh, but I, I do think it'll be a group that John will probably lead at the start, but uh, AC, there's, there's others that are capable of that role, but I, I'm hoping they'll let it evolve. Now you guys were 41st in the nation in three-point attempts. I know you're, you don't shy away from the three ball. Is that about where you want to be, or was that due to the personnel and everything else surrounding it? Is that, kinda, is that the range you want to be? I, I really don't pay much attention to it. I, I think for us, we just want to get a good shot every time down. And Evan Maxwell established a presence on the interior that I think we, we had to take advantage of. And when, once we did, teams collapsed, and the three-point shot was there. But you know, having John being able to put some pressure on the rim, uh, I, I think it escalated our attempts because, uh, again, teams were helping on his drive, sag in the defense, and we were kicking it out for threes. And when guys started making them, yeah. they started taking more of them. Do you want more size? I guess going forward, you were kind of, that was the hand you were dealt this year. Right. Going forward, ideally, what do you want it to look like? We're not afraid to throw five guards, if you yeah. will, out on the floor. But moving forward, Josiah Talbert yep. is going to be a terrific player for us. And 
And no one remembers Mayo Baxter Bell signed with us because he redshirted this year, but he's a young man I think has a bright future as well. So I, I think we're going to add some depth on the post, and uh, that's going to help. But uh, we also have some better players on the perimeter. So I, I, don't, I think we'll be a lot deeper next year, and I think there will be a great fight. It will be really competitive in practice for minutes. Finally, with the success you had, does it make you just want to get back out there right away? I mean, you, know, you don't have a true off season. I know you're always working. But with the success, does it make you that much more eager to start season number two, or do you need to step away for a little bit? Uh, well, we're giving our guys a break, but, yeah, I want to play tomorrow. Yeah. I, you know, and having been at UVA for six years, I got a team that I can root for in the tournament yeah. because, obviously, my close relationship with Coach Bennett and the staff there, but also there's a bunch of players that I'm still very close with. So uh, I'm – I'm going to root for the Cavaliers during, uh, during the March Madness deal here, but uh, I'm anxiously awaiting the, the start. I think we play November 11th next year as our first game, so uh, it can't come soon enough for me. Can't come soon enough for me either. Coach, thanks for this year. Matt. Great job. And we'll thanks. see you, I'm sure, before next season, but enjoy your off season if you can call it. Thanks, me. man.